Hi everybody, it's Okia, and it's here, finally, um, I don't know if I'm going to be posting this video the day it comes out, or, um, or like tomorrow, because like, I, I'm recording this right when it came out, it's like here, right now, with me, it is, the Ben Sukumori Triad Deck 04, for Shadow Paladin, Shadow Paladins are finally introduced into the standard game of Card Fight Vanguard, and as, so, and, but I don't think the actual booster set for shot because it's going to be a booster for Team a a a AO4, which which is going to have um, Shadow Paladins, uh, Pale Moon, Dark Vegas. I'm not sure what else is going to be there, but the there's not going to be as much uh, Shadow Paladin support in the booster set because of the Triad deck, just how it was with the Aqua Force Triad deck and the Kagero Triad deck and the and and the Aichi Sendo Triad deck. But yeah, let's get into this. Let me just so, so yeah. This even though we're not gonna get a <laughs> the booster set for a while, we should uh people who play in Shadow Paladin should be good for the moment. Especially since Blaster Dark is such a good unit. Um for those of you guys who don't know, Blaster Vendrick Sigamori and Blaster Dark he has Blaster Dark, I believe. Did Ven used to play Shadow Paladins? I feel like Ven used to play Shadow Pal- Uh, I mean, no, Voya Paladins. I don't remember exactly. But, he eventually made the switch- uh, I think it- the same thing- because in the first season of the anime, uh, Aichi, uh, played Voya Paladins, then switched over to Shadow Paladins when he got the power of Cyquilia, which is a power of imagination. Um, not sure how to really describe it. Ren Sugimori was like the similar way. I believe he started off with his Warrior Paladins and then switched over to Shadow Paladins and got the Blaster Dark. So yeah, uh, he's basically the opposite to Aichi, which is the Triad deck that I opened up last. Um, actually, yeah. Um, <laughs> the Triad deck I opened up last. Well, if I do that, then I have to move the date of when I opened the Triad deck of Aichi Sen though because I think it's actually coming out next week. Eh, I can move it um to I can move it to today. Anyway, here we go. Alright, so there it is, the basic play mat. And then Yeah, there it is. The booster set for AO4. It's gonna be Shadow Paladins, Dark Rogos, Pale Moon and Murakuma. And then just the basic how to play the deck. What a cool shot of Ven right there. I'm trying not to move the camera as much as I did the, in one of my previous videos that I made. Which, uh, so yeah. So yeah. So anyway, let's get into that. Here we go. The deck. The main focus of this deck, or the gate 2 of this deck, is Blaster Dark. With this skill. It is when placed on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, counter blast one, and your opponent chooses one of their rear, his or her Rearguards and retires it. So it can, so it's automatically stronger than Blaster Blade right there. Blaster Blade is only the front row Rearguards, which is only two of them. Blaster Blade is just like your opponent chooses any of the Rearguards. So if they only have one Rearguard, bam, they don't have any more Rearguards. And then its other skill, which is an act once per turn, if your opponent has only on the vanguard circle, if your opponent has no rear guards, you can discard a card from your hand, and this gets plus one drive. That means that your that the twin drive only limited to the grade threes is now on a grade two. And boom! Ah, damn it. Uh, so there's a chance that this will be like a signed copy, I believe. There was a chance for it as well in the Aichi deck that this would be a signed copy, but whatever. So yeah, then we get other versions of Blast Blade. Here we have the Dark Dictator. Uh, let me put here like that. We have the Dark Dictator, which is the main grade three of the deck. We're gonna have one hollow copy of it, but that's gonna be in the back of it. So let's read the Dark Dictator. He is the opposite of Alfred. An evil outfit since the Shadow Paladins control the Royal Sanctuary, which is the nation that the Royal Paladins are like rule over from the shadows. Let's see. So, hit skill is during your turn, this gets plus two, plus two thousand, uh, plus two 
yeah, 2K for each of your regards. So he's similar to an, a different version of Alfred right there. Carabas 1, you may call up to one uh, grade 2 or less uh, unit from your card from your hand to the rearguard circle. It gets 5k until the end of turn. Then, your opponent chooses one of his or her rearguards and retires it. So another way to retire units. Let's put you right there. And if you got... And of course, this clan is a force clan, so similar to the... Just like the Void Paladins, they have the Force Marker. You can see the secondary grade 3 is a uh, Pulverized Knight Daemon. We'll put all of the ones like that right there. Then we have Witch of Calamity Emma. We have a Blaster Axe. And then we have Full Bard. Blaster Javelin. Blaster Javelin is, is also has a. He's supposed to be like your main grade one, just like with Squire Knight Allen. Um, he also has like a uh, hollow version of himself in this. When placed, when you have two or more grade one or less real guards, count less one and draw a card. So if you have more, so like um, so if you already have like two grade one units out on the field, you can just like call out Blaster Javelin, counter blast, bam, you draw a card. Just pretty sweet. Uh, we'll put. Yeah, we'll just put Alan with the rest of them right there. And then we have the Perfect Guard, Knight of Resilience, uh, Lumris. And then we have Witch of Evanhold for our final Great One. Then for a start for the starting Vanguard, we have Full Bow. Just like all other starting Vanguards, it is when rolled upon, draw a card. Sweet. Uh, actually, I'll put you over here because you're a good little doggy. Then we have the critical trigger, uh, dark side trumpeteer. Then critical trigger of death feather eagle. And then our draw trigger is howl owl. And then our heal trigger is a best healer. And here's our hollow version of the dark dictator and blaster javelin. Now here's the last chance we get to get a special assigned copy. Let's see if we get it. Force marker. Force marker and no. Uh for the for yeah, the signed copy would have had like a special like signature from the voice actor. Just how it does with my um what is my that I don't know where I left my what? Or at least my standard wood patterns. I have my regular wood patterns with me right now. Are oh, they in here? No, that's my titles. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that opening of the Ven Sugimori Triadek. Um, definitely recommend getting this if you really. Uh, it's a good start if if you want to learn how to play Vanguard. That like any of the Triadecks really. Um, we still need a Triadek that comes out with Protect. Um. That comes out with a protect clan, um, just so like people can get started with that, and not have to buy a bunch of booster, uh, boxes for the for Grand Blue and OTT to make those decks. But whatever. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like down below. Um, comment what you thought. Uh, if you're gonna get this try deck, definitely get it. Um, and hopefully subscribe for more. Um, so yeah, hopefully, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.